The news at noon begins with breaking news in Northern Virginia. Good afternoon, I'm Simone D'Alba. Sadly, five people are hurt after a house caught fire in Fairfax County. Take a look at this map with me. It happened around 930 this morning at a home on Whetstone Manor Court in Clifton. Our Matthew Torres has been at the scene for the last hour. And Matthew, I understand that neighbors are telling you that multiple children are among those injured. Good afternoon. Yeah, Simone, since we got here, we've been speaking to neighbors clearly shocked about what happened. I'll get to that information in just a moment, but clearly still an active scene. Firefighters remain here. Investigators have not told us exactly where this fire started or even the possible cause. Of course, that's still early on in the investigation, but it is clear that the damage, most of it happened to the left side of this home here. We can see the ladder truck over there. I now want you to look at video that's shared to us by a neighbor who responded to the scene after seeing all of the fire engines. You can see the flames shooting outside of this home. He says he knew nothing about it until the response from firefighters here out on scene. You can see where neighbors started to uh, run around trying to provide for some help. And he is telling me that when he got here, the two grandparents inside this home could be heard yelling for help, asking for someone to save them. Now, firefighters have not told us the age of the victims, but we know five people have been transported to the hospital, two with life-threatening injuries. Those two in critical condition had to be rescued by firefighters because apparently they were trapped inside this home. And multiple neighbors are telling me that four children were involved in this home. Um, I'm told that two grandparents and as well as uh, the three kids, the three grandkids are the ones at the hospital and the fourth child uh, was not hurt. That is according to multiple neighbors out on scene who also know this family. Uh, those two people who had to be rescued, uh, firefighters clearly had to go in in the midst of all that smoke. And we spoke to one of the chiefs about that. Uh, our personnel are highly trained. Um, so they recognize the situation and all their training and their skill kicks in. Um, obviously, they're still human, so it's very traumatic uh, for them. Uh, but they performed at a very high level today. And I'm you know, fortunate to report they were able to rescue two people from the structure. And those two people that had to be rescued are the ones with life-threatening injuries. No doubt an active scene remains behind me at the shower. If we get more information from firefighters, of course, we'll have that on air and online. But for now, reporting live in Clifton, I'm Matthew Torres, WUSA 9. Boy, I really feel in for the family whose lives have just been completely upended through this tragedy. We'll be following you for updates, Matthew. Thank you.